The way I start this is I just throw the butter right into my pan here and let's let it brown. Some little smashed garlic. And then I'm just gonna split these lobster tails and just cut up, cut through the top part, keep it all together, and then kind of crack it back down and then pull it through the top. Question for you, bro, like what, what was it about cooking that like, you fell in love with and decided to do it professionally? You know, cooking for me is like the connection to people. In my family, the best things happen around food. It always kept people happy. It didn't matter if like you were sad. That's what made me keep cooking. And, and I wanted to cook from like, I wanted to be a chef since I was like seven, eight years old. And that's what's up. How did you fall in love with food? Because like I hear you talk about curry and jerk, like you, yeah. you light up. I mean, yeah, like so growing up in my, in my household, like my mom, my grandmother, aunts, whoever was always cooking. It was, right. it was part of, you know, everyday life. All right, so I'm gonna flip these over. And I cook, I cook lobster or shrimp the same way I cook steak. Okay. What I will call medium. It's still cooked through, yeah. but it's not overcooked. I'm turning off the heat. Then I'm gonna take this brown herb butter here. Look at this, this looks super delicious. It looks amazing. It smells good too. Thanks. Anybody can do this at home. Listen, the lobster tails, you can get them frozen. It's okay. They don't have to be fresh. I never knew that it was this simple to, uh, to make some lobster <laughs> tails, but thank you, I appreciate that. Just some nice black pepper right on top. And that's it. Voila. That's it. So, let me just throw these on the plate. Oh, this, this smells so good. And then the extra butter, I'm not throwing this away. Just right on top. Boom, just like that, huh? Just like that. Yes, sir. <laughs>